We always use the dock, but we never think about how many features the dock can have. Stay with us until the end of this video to learn about these features. The dock is divided into two or three sections separated by lines or separators. The first section on the left side contains all applications you added to the dock. As you move right past the first separator, you will see up to three recently used apps that are not saved in the dock already. To place an app shortcut on the dock, drag it to the dock. If you click and hold an app icon on the dock, you can see the files and recently opened and use them again. You can delete it from the options section. Or if you use that app a lot, you can set it open every time you turn on the computer or shows you its location in Finder. Another way to remove anything from the dock is to drag it out and release it after seeing remove. If you open an application, its icon will remain on the dock until it opens. If you want it to stay permanently on the dock, choose Keep in Dock from its options. If an application icon changes to a question mark, it means it has been deleted from the computer and you cannot access it. Some apps like Pages, if they are open, can show you a preview of the files that you have used recently by selecting Show All Windows from the options so that you can open each of them. To open a file in your favorite app, drag and drop it on the desired app. For example, if you want to open a PDF in Adobe Acrobat, instead of Mac Preview, drag and drop it on the Adobe Acrobat icon. To have an important folder on the dock, drag it to this area. You can see its contents as a stack and open any one you want by clicking on it. You can even arrange the files inside it or change the way it's displayed. or change its icon from a stack mode to folder mode. With command click on any folder and file, you can view each in Finder. Also, by placing the mouse pointer on any files and folders and pressing a space, you will see its preview. In addition to folders, you can also place a file shortcut on the dock. Safari Web Apps is a new feature added to the Mac OS Sonoma. When you are on your favorite web page, through the share option, you can choose a name for it and add it to the dock. Now, in addition to being permanently available, you see it as an application whenever you open it, and you can efficiently work with it. When an app supports the hands-off feature, a hands-off sign will be seen next to its icon in the dock. You can continue the activity you started on your iPhone on Mac by clicking on it. When working with multiple desktops simultaneously, in the options section of each app in the dock, you can determine on which desktop that app will be displayed. Watch this video to see how to add an extra desktop and work with multiple desktops. But before that, subscribe. The dock has various settings. You can make it bigger or smaller like this, or by right-clicking and selecting dock settings. Enable magnification and change its amount. Even if you want, you can change its position. You can determine how apps are minimized or determine that each app is minimized into its icon. If you like to view the deck only when needed, use this option. By activating the Animate Opening application, the apps that are being opened will be animated. By activating this option, a dot will be placed under the active apps, which indicates that the app is open. Finally, if you want to have the apps you used recently on the dock, use this option. If you just started working with macOS, watching this video will help you a lot.